4,000 U.S. troops should be on the ground in Afghanistan by now to help Americans traveling to the Kabul airport for evacuation. The Biden administration says it has assurances from the Taliban for the evacuees' safe passage, as the Pentagon says it plans to have one charter flight depart per hour. This comes as thousands of American citizens in Afghanistan are being called with instructions on how to get to the airport and where to go once they get there. Two of them are telling us right now they can't get to the airport and they've gone back home. We are doing everything we can in a challenging and dynamic security environment. Uh, we it's are a yes or we, no we question. Are, we are engaging uh, with the Taliban. We've heard these assurances of safe passage. A Pentagon spokesman tonight adding that the U.S. has been in touch with Taliban commanders as fighters patrol the streets outside the airport. Meanwhile, Taliban leaders claiming tonight that all the rights of all citizens, including women and girls, will be protected. White House says at least 11,000 Americans are in Afghanistan and want to come home. They also say 1,100 U.S. citizens, permanent residents and their families were flown out today on 13 flights with a total of 3,200 people being evacuated so far.